So Tina here is going to show us how she makes her slamming Asian slaw. So I know I, for one, am really excited to try this because I've heard so many great things about it from Mark. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, I like to make the dressing first mm -hmm. because you'll want to chill it ahead of time. Right. Is and it pretty easy to make? It's really easy. It's just prepping the ingredients and just mixing everything together. All right. Sounds okay. easy enough. Let's get so to it. We'll start with some soy sauce. Uh huh. You can use light or regular. All right. So we'll do a little bit of rice vinegar. All right. Uh, maybe about three tablespoons. So, so a little bit of rice One, vinegar. Two, and three. Then I have seasoned soy sauce. Oh, okay. It just gives it a little bit extra flavor. A little kick or? Mm -hmm. All right. I just shake. Um, yeah, I think I count to maybe like eight. <laughs> all right. For the soy sauce? Yeah, usually the bottles that have the seasoned soy sauce mm -hmm. have this spout where it pours out really slow. And so it's easy. Yeah, so you can kind of shake it. All right. So don't forget that seasoning soy sauce, not the regular uh, soy, soy sauce. sauce. So can you find that in local stores? You or? can in okay. your local supermarket or your Asian market. Okay. Uh, let's do olive oil. Any type of olive oil will work. All right. But I just like... Now, do you make this often or? We make it very often in the summertime. Oh, yeah. It pairs really great with slaw. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm slaw. Hot dogs, uh -huh. pulled pork sandwiches, and makes fantastic oh. fish tacos. Yeah. It tastes really good just by itself. Yeah. So. I like that. Uh, we have sesame oil next. Just a little bit. I just eyeball it. Yeah. <laughs> so then. We need lime juice. Now we need limes. Fresh lime juice. Are work. you going to put all of that in there? Or? I am. All right. All right. So let's add ginger. This is fresh mint ginger. Mm -hmm. I just use about an inch, inch and a half of, okay. of the nub. And then you just grate it like over a fine cheese grater. Okay. So you can use a, a microplane. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, garlic, minced garlic. We have brown sugar. Alright. We're gonna set this aside or you can put it in your fridge. Alright, we'll and now we're slaw. going to assemble the slaw. So I'll have green and red cabbage just uh, sliced really thin strips or mm -hmm. shredded. So just gonna pour all of this in there. And you can even purchase this uh, pre-sliced for you in the bags at a lot of the grocery stores. Uh, that'll save you a little bit of time. We have Napa cabbage, which is like a Chinese cabbage. It just gives it a little bit different texture. Mm -hmm. Everything here has a different crunchy texture, so I like this, that. this gives it a, a soft, crunchy texture okay. versus the hard. So we're going to have to use the hand. Yeah. Then we have shredded carrots. Uh -oh. This is so colorful. Ooh. I think I mentioned before, I love cooking with like fresh ingredients because they're so bright and colorful as you can see here. The salad looks great and we're not even done yet. So We're not done and it's, it's cool. We have thinly sliced red onions. Mm -hmm. I soak them in ice water just to get rid of the bite a little okay. bit because some people don't like raw onions. Yeah. You can always leave them out. Alright, so that's this. a good tip. Yep. Cold ice water. Alright. Then we have edamame and soybeans. It's usually used in a lot of Japanese cooking, also Chinese cooking. I like because it, it reminds me of a pea pod, so it's going to give it another texture. Okay. It's like a soft, soft crunch, okay. and then it's really good flavor. Usually I leave out the edamame when we're mix, repairing it with um, fish tacos okay. or pulled pork. But if you're going to eat it by itself, I would add the So edamame. just as a slaw, you can throw the edamame. Yeah, so we're just going to try to mix all of this together. Yeah. I didn't have a big enough. I'll one, hold so. that. That's a good, this is another good learning experience. <laughs> I know on my last episode, if you guys saw the last one, my bowl wasn't big enough. So uh, make sure you have large accommodating bowls. So it I looks like I, she's doing a pretty good job of it. I think though, I cut, so. cut yeah. up too many ingredients too much. Hey, the more Coleslaw. the merrier. Yeah. It looks great. Okay. Colors. Um, okay. So what do you add next? Um, so we have cilantro and green onions. Cilantro and green onions. Now, um, some of my friends don't like cilantro. I know it's crazy, but you know who you are. So if they don't like cilantro, what would you suggest? You can just omit it. I mean, it, it'll taste even great without the cilantro, but 
like Dia said, we both love cilantro. Yeah. So you see how much cilantro we have in it. I love Plus it. Plus it gives it a little bit more color. Yeah. We like color. Now Green. hold that again. Mix all this together. All right. It's coming together. Well, it looks good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now. So. Here we get your dressing out of the fridge. We're going to mix it again. Uh -huh. Because you know the oil will separate. So this is going to be enough to coat our salad. Okay. It should be. So. All right. We'll just pour it over here. That looks Awesome! Really, really good. Smells okay. Already. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, I have these. Alright. We just fix everything together. And this is basically it, right? This is it. Um, wow. Well, a little bit, we got to put their sesame seeds on there. Okay. It gives it a, it's a, their sesame seeds have been toasted. I toasted them myself. Oh, you did? And you put them in a, like a skillet. Uh huh. And just, Keep stirring it on low heat. Okay. We'll about how long would you say? Uh, that's the whole bag, so that takes about 30 minutes. Okay. Because you have to keep. They taste really good by themselves yeah. with a uh, little sea salt. Okay. And what's your final ingredient? It's the toasted sesame seeds. Okay. You just want to sprinkle a little bit across the top. Just, just enhances the flavor. Mm. I just like the taste of sesame seeds. And it's so pretty. So that's our Asian salt. Wow. Look at that. Really good. It looks fantastic. Thank you. So thank you so much for showing this to us. Now hopefully we can recreate this at home in our own kitchens and uh, just take away from what you told us. Right. You're going to be able to give me the ingredient list, yes. hopefully. Yes. I have it ready Great. for you. So we'll have that for you. Thanks. Hey.